In this video, we're going to continue discussing binary operations. And when we talk about binary operations, there's two important properties we discuss. The first is commutative, and the second is associative. So let's go ahead and give some definitions. A binary operation, denoted star, on a set S is commutative if A star B equals B star A for all A and B in S. So if we can switch the order of A and B and it still gives us the same result, that tells us that the binary operation is commutative. A binary operation is associative if this property is satisfied. A star B star C equals A star B star C, where in the first instance we do A star B first, and in the second instance we compute B star C first. And this should hold for all A, B, and C in S. Let's go ahead and look at some examples. In the previous video, we showed that addition is a binary operation on the set of integers. Well, let's now check if it's commutative and associative. So first we'll check for commutativity. In order for addition to be commutative, we need a plus b to equal b plus a for all a and b in the set of integers. So for example, we would need 3 plus 7 to equal 7 plus 3. And of course this is true, they both equal 10, and this is going to be the case for all elements in the set of integers. And we're just assuming you know this from elementary math, so this does not need to be proven, it's just assumed, and this is of course commutative. Let's go ahead and check for associativity. To be associative, we need a plus b plus c to equal a plus b plus c. So if we first compute a plus b and then add c, it should be the same as if we compute b plus c and then add a. And of course, again, from elementary math, we know this is the case, so this is associative. This was a simple example. Let's go ahead and look at the other example we did. Let's try division on the set of non-zero rational numbers. In order for this to be commutative, we would need a divided by b to equal b divided by a. But of course, we can see this is not true. Let's provide a counterexample so we can prove this. Let's take 3 divided by 7 and 7 divided by 3. These are clearly not equal. We've shown a counterexample, and this shows that division is not commutative on the set of non-zero rational numbers. Now let's check for associativity. And I want to point out here that just because this is not commutative does not mean that it's not associative. So it can be commutative and not associative, and it also can be associative without being commutative. These are two independent properties. So we have to check both. So in order to be associative, we would need a divided by b divided by c to equal a divided by b divided by c. But if we go ahead and simplify this, we get the left-hand side equals a divided by bc, and the right-hand side we get ac divided by b. And we can clearly see these aren't equal, so all we have to do now is just provide one counterexample, and then this will show that this is not equal. Let's try 2 thirds over 2 on the left hand side, and then on the right we get 2 over 3 half. And if we simplify, on this side we get 4 over 3, and on this side we get 2 over 6 or 1 over 3, and 1 over 3 is clearly not equal to 4 over 3. So this counterexample shows that it is not associative. Let's do another example, and this time I'm going to define the binary operation a star b equals a b plus 1. And this will be on the set of rationals. And you can check on your own that this is in fact a binary operation, but in this case we're just going to assume that it is true. And we're going to check first for commutativity. So in order to be commutative, remember we need a star b equal to b star a. So that would tell us that a b plus 1 has to equal b a plus 1. And again from elementary math, we know that a times b is the same as b times a. The order doesn't change the result, so this is true, and this is commutative. Let's go ahead and look at associativity next. In order to be associative, we need a star b, and then we have to star that by c. We need this to equal a starred with b star c. So let's go ahead and compute the left-hand side. The left-hand side we get a b plus 1 star c and this gives us a b plus 1 times c plus 1 and we can distribute the c here so we we get a b c plus c plus 1. Now we can do the right-hand side and on the right-hand side we get a star b c plus 1 
and this gives us A times BC plus 1 plus 1. And if we distribute the A here, we get ABC plus A plus 1. Well, now we can see these are not equal unless C equals A, because we have an A here and a C here. So the left-hand side does not equal the right-hand side. And we just need to come up with a quick counterexample to show that this is not associative. And I'll leave this as an exercise for you to do. It's not too hard to come up with some numbers and plug them in here to show that these aren't equal. So most of the time when you're asked to show if a binary operation is commutative or associative, it's usually just going back to the definitions and checking the properties. And sometimes it can be a little more tedious than other times, but for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. So this will sum up the video on commutative and associative properties for binary operations.